What's going on everybody? Welcome to September and welcome to another edition of Today in History. Happy Labor Day. I am your host as always John T. Weibel and uh, right now I am dog sitting for my aunt and uncle and I got some events to share so let's see what happened today in history. Uh, first off we have a quote. Drugs have taught an entire generation of American kids the metric system. That is a quote from P.J. O. Rourke, or Rourke, a U.S. journalist, uh, and he said that quote uh, in today in 1989 when President Bush, President H. W. Bush, I, I should say, announced he would have the U.S. drug program. Also today in 1946, the Cleveland Browns played their first NFL game. Uh, they played their first game at uh, Cleveland Stadium where they beat the Miami Seahawks uh, 44 to nothing. And yes, I said the Miami Seahawks. Uh, not to be confused with the current franchise uh, from Seattle. This is a different team. Uh, but... Interestingly enough, the Browns were not originally an NFL team. Uh, for their first four seasons, the Browns, along with the San Francisco 49ers, who also began play in 1946, they originally were members of a short-lived league called the AAFC, the All-American Football Conference. And then eventually, by 1950, this conference had or this league had dissolved. And so then in 1950, uh, the Browns and the 49ers finally became official members of the NFL. And uh, the Cleveland Browns, uh, fun fact, uh, are the only NFL team uh, who don't have a logo on their helmets. Also today in 1983, Soviets admit their jets downed KAL-007, Korean Airlines Flight 007. Soviet military chiefs called a highly unusual press conference in Moscow on September 6, 1983 to explain why a Soviet jet fighter shot down a South Korean airliner last week with the loss of 269 lives. The Soviets maintain that flight eight Korean Air 00, KAL-007 was on a spying mission for the U.S. The night flight was far off course. It was shot down near secret Soviet military installations on the island of, of, of Sakhalin, off Siberia, north of Japan. The Soviets say it refused to answer signals and was flying without navigation lights. Tonight, the Soviet leaders expressed sympathy for the bereaved. Uh, 1988, 11-year-old uh, Thomas Gregory from London is the youngest to swim in the English Canal. And believe it or not, we only have two birthdays to share. The first birthday is Joseph Kennedy, who was born on this day in 1888. He was uh, the founder of a dynasty that gave rise to the first Catholic American president. And, obviously, that first Catholic American president happened to be his son, John F. Kennedy, who served as the 35th president of the United States from 1961 until he was assassinated in 1963. The other birthday we have to share is, uh, or I have to share, is Justin Whalen, uh, who is 47 today, uh, and he appeared in uh, many films and TV shows, uh, such as, uh, as Dungeons and Dragons and Child's Play 3 as well as uh, uh, Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. 
that's it for uh, today in history. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, please remember to like, comment. If you enjoy this video, share it with your friends. That would be nice. And please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a happy Labor Day.